Here's a 1-2. Line drive into right field. going to drop in for a base hit. Here comes Kemp. Throw to the plate, and he is out from here to Pasadena. Collision at the plate. Now Kemp and Chirinos, and the benches are clearing. There was a collision at the plate. Then the pushing and shoving ensued. Now out of the bullpen, the relief pitchers are all out on the field. Haven't seen anything like this is involving the Dodgers this year. Unless the catcher is in the act of fielding the ball, he has to give a path to home. And until we take a look at the replay, it's hard to give anything other than that. So it is not automatically illegal to run through the catcher now. And it's a it's a pretty ambiguous rule. There's a lot of gray area to it. I don't see a path there unless you want him to run around the outside and reach back but that ain't going to happen. But was he in the act of fielding the ball and is that why there's no path. It'll be interesting. Take another look when we come back. Dodgers in front 2 nothing. Line drive to right field. Coming up with the quickly Mazzara. Kemp's being waved to throw the play. Oh. He is out at the plate. Big Rob. collision between Chirinos and Kemp. And uh-oh. Some pushing and shoving and here we go. I'll tell you what. Robinson Chirinos upset about what happened and understandably so as Matt Kemp barreled him over. Now remember the rules are still the same where you can run into the catcher if the catcher is blocking the plate. And that is certainly the approach that Matt Kemp took who believes that is exactly what happened. And Robinson Chirinos did not take too kindly to that slide. And it wasn't a slide but it was a barrel from Matt Kemp. Let's take a look at this here. Base hit. First of all, excellent job by Nomar Mazar to get behind this ball, line himself up. Perfect throw. The throw brought Robinson Chirinos into the line. And that's why Matt Kemp felt that he could push and knock Robinson Chirinos over. And you see these guys scrapping a little bit. The throw was allowed to bring you there, and that is exactly what happened. Matt Kemp almost looked like he started to give up and then decided that he was going to barrel Robinson Chirinos. And that, for me, is an illegal slide. The umpires right now getting together and talking about it. I wonder if they're going to make a decision of whether or not they'll consider making an ejection based on everything that's happened right here between Robinson Chirinos and Matt Kemp. Well, all the blue shirts have walked over to their side. All the white shirts have walked over to their side now, and things have settled down for the moment. But that one ends the inning. Wow, a little fireworks. We go to the fourth. Matt Kemp has been thrown out of this game with the Dodgers in front 2 nothing onto the fourth and I have a feeling we're going to be talking about this one for a bit. What do you guys think? Well for me I don't understand where he's supposed to go to get to home plate. Maybe by the letter of the law he should be kicked out of the game but I don't understand where baseball is with this one. I think I think he might have got kicked out only because of the scuffle afterwards because if they kicking him out strictly for that then I mean you know me I hate this rule I think it's brutal that this rule is actually implemented but the fact that it is you can still run over the catcher if he's in the play and you're going in hard you still got to go you can still go in there and that I think goes by the rule. I think maybe afterwards is the reason why they possibly got thrown out is, you know, you saw Chirinos push Kemp, Kemp push him back. If that's, that could be possibly why they're thrown out. 
but I think from the play itself, there's no reason for Matt to get thrown out for coming in hard, especially when there is no path and you're just going in hard and as early as he got it, because I'm sure if there was a path, he tried to avoid it, but he just went in and was thrown out so, so much ahead of time. So I'm curious to find out more if that was the reason why. And just to note, guys, I think Robinson Torinos has been thrown out right. as well. And I think that's exactly, that may be the reason, because they probably, as they discussed, the umpires were together, and were probably going, okay, is it the play we're making a toss for, or is it the actual that after what happened afterwards, if they just, if Torinos just went, and okay, got an out and walked off, Fine. I think it would have been fine. I think Matt would still be in the game. They both be in the game, but it was what this afterwards is what I think they made the decision to toss them both. To me, Torinos is the one in the wrong right there. Matt was just getting up, and then he's the first one to shove him. And he also then shoves, puts his glove in his face. And at some point, you have to be able to protect yourself. 